Hello everyone, welcome back to another Contrast Paint video and before us we have another Plague Marine. I think this is the Plague Marine Champion that came with the awesome Nurgling that has like a hero pose, although I, I used him for something else, so we have just a bog standard Nurgling on this base. Based in Grey Seer, and this is going to be an attempt to, to try and get closer to the style used when using traditional Citadel paints. Last time when we did a Death Guard, which is for whatever reason my most popular, well, I don't know if most popular is the way to put it, but it's a contrast video that has the most views, was painting up that Death Guard using Plague Bearer Flesh, which I think everyone moderately agrees at least that it turned out okay, but it didn't match the style we were looking for, which is that. And that is the exact same Plague Marine done in traditional paint. Again, the lighting on the left is a little bad because the camera overhangs there. But that's what we were trying to get to, it obviously doesn't match up. If you're curious how to use normal setup paints to get this finish, if for whatever reason you wanted it to look like this, go to the comments of the video where I painted this miniature and I answered a comment in there where I listed all the paints used and the order in which they were used to get this finish. But the goal today is to try again to get close to this using contrast. So we're not using Play Bare Flesh because that didn't work. We're instead going to try a new paint which I theorize might be better in that video. We are going to be trying out the Militarum Green contrast paint. We're still probably going to use Plague Bearer Flesh on the Nurgling, a little bit of warp lightning contrast on the like the, the sensor bearer that he's holding, a little bit of Blood Angels Red for the tassel on the back there, and some Skeletal Horde for the various spikes on his power fist and out of his pauldron there. But the main goal here is just trying out Militarum Green to see how it applies. So we're going to start with that liberal coating over basically everything include I, I made the helmeted version so including his head and we'll see how that compares when dry so without further ado let's get started So here's what we have so far with the Militarum Green applied and that is much closer to what we're looking for if we just plop that nearby. Keep in mind that's had two washes over it as well of Sepia and Agrax. In terms of base we're kind of just looking for a comparable to Death Forest Green is it called? Death World Forest, sorry. So it's obviously still going to dry so it's got to set etc. If we wanted it to look even more like this you'd probably still have to use a wash afterwards but in terms of like just the shade of green it's definitely getting there. Sepia over the top might honestly just be enough. But either way what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry, we're going to touch up the bits that we need to clean again like the, the big spike here and a little bit of a tassel at the back. Then in another time lapse we'll do some skeletal hard on the spikes. We'll use Play Bear Flesh again on the Nurgling, Warp Lightning on his thingy there and uh, Blood Angels Red on the the back cape thing and then we'll event actually we might do the gun at the same time just uh, do a little bit of Black Templar on that as well so that one need cleaned up too because it's had a little bit of bleed during the application of the Militarum Green so I'm gonna leave that to sit for about half an hour and then do all that
So we still have some drying to do, but here's all the contrast paint essentially applied. Lots of various shades of green contrast mostly, and then there's some black and red at the back and also some skeletal hard on the spikes there. So now it's just a case of letting this all set and dry and then we're going to do just a, a quick gap and be back with the finished model after some regular paint has been applied. Some uh, lead belcher for the silver parts, the like the, the chain mail bits he's got here, maybe some bronze for the sensor, some gold for the trims on the shoulder pads. Might actually apply some yanding contrast to the like bulbous bits on his backpack and his face. It's, I usually do you uh, use a yellow for that. I might just try putting a yanding over it. See how it looks. If it doesn't look that great, we'll go over it with some flash gets yellow. So we'll see how that looks in a second and then we'll decide whether or not there needs to be a, a wash put over the top. So after that little gap, I have applied a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade to the Nurgling and to the horn and to the silver parts just to make them a little bit grimmer, the gold parts as well. Uh, I haven't touched the entirety of the model yet, but as you can see, uh, the, and the base isn't done yet, but as you can see, it's not quite the same shade of green either. It's it's a bit more, it's got a bit more life to it. However, it is, oh, it wasn't. Why is it more in focus when my finger is there? That's very strange. I mean, I can leave my finger there. If it, it is confusing the camera. It's fine. There. Perfect. I won't touch anything with my fingers. You can see that it's obviously still not the dark grimy shade that the the normal paints have done to this model. Uh, so it's not, it's closer. It's closer than this. This one, which was the, the Plague Bearer one. Very clearly a difference in shade of green there. I'm curious how it's going to look with sepia. Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera. It's, uh, I'm curious how it's going to look with sepia over the top as well. I still don't think that's going to, it's going to make it look a bit muddier, but I don't think it's going to, I mean, the shade of green is going to be the same, so it's still off a little bit. Not quite close enough, but I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to apply sepia basically to the entirety of it. Let that dry, finish the base, probably, and then uh, we'll be back for the final comparison again. So a little bit later, here we are with the finished Plague Marine Captain, or Champion, whatever. And with the uh, the Seraphim Sepia applied all over it, I think it did actually make a difference in terms of getting it a little bit closer to the kind of shade we were looking for. Obviously still not ideal, so I'm not sure if we consider this a success, but it is closer than the Plague Bearer Flesh, which you can also just see by comparison because it's on the Nurgling on the base. It's still a little damp, so I'm trying not to touch it too much. But this isn't, again, this was done in just standard Citadel paint, and this is mostly contrast. They are similar, you can obviously still tell the difference. Honestly, at a glance from quite far away, it's a little bit less obvious, but obviously we're zoomed in here, so it's it's very apparent. It's closer, it's close enough that if you were looking to get like closer to the standard Death Guard colours, which is kind of like the mucky greens that this is, but you wanted to use contrast to speed things up, the Militarum Green, I think, kind of got the job done. It's, uh, there might be another shade of green that gets closer. This was the one I guessed would be a better fit. It is a better fit, but it's still not perfect. That said, fairly happy with how this one turned out. I'm fairly happy with how the other one turned out, honestly. It's just it wasn't matching up to the, the, the style we were looking for. And the cape obviously does, but that's because the, the Blood Angels red is, uh, contrast is just so good compared to like the Mephiston red plus a wash over the top is basically identical. And uh, the skeleton hard on bones always matches up pretty well too. Now let's see, can we get a, a triple look here? That's the Plague Bear Flesh Plague Marine. Then we have the Militarum Green Plague Champion. Then we have the standard Citadel Paint Plague Marine. I think that's okay. Uh, again, it's up to you lot to decide whether or not that's something you want to work with or adapt upon. There's three different ways of doing it either way, and again, if you want to he uh, hear the paints and the order in which they're used to get this kind of look with normal paints, go back to the other Plague Marine video, I listed them in a comment after someone asked. So that's going to do it for this one, I sincerely hope you enjoyed, we'll be back next time with another contrast video, it's going to be another 40k miniature, something a bit different, and we're going to get a chance to see some more Eandin yellow in use. So until then, ta-ta for now.